you all tonight regarding the recent re revelation of the administration of the city of Wilkes-Barre has been engaging on purchase of fuel for ongoing operations with blatant disregard for the charter requirement that this body must approve purchases in excess of $10,000. The contention that this purchases are a professional service is straight up nonsense. I have been in touch with several municipalities and there are no others in this county of Luzerne who term it as such. The firms that have bid out and supplied petroleum products to municipal governments indeed have the same ability to provide emergency deliveries as the administration has noted. This is a commodity product and should be treated as such, bid out competitively. Now, just a few weeks ago, the mayor stated to me in this chamber that there was no extra money on a monthly basis, none. If the financial situation of the city of Wilkes-Barre is indeed as tight as the mayor states it is, then we need to explore every opportunity to save what we are able. This is especially important when it is a commodity that we are spending in excess of $300,000 per year. I am calling on this body to sponsor and pass a resolution requiring the administration to seek bids for the year 2013 for our gasoline and diesel fuel purchases. This is simple common sense. If you would like, I can provide you with copies of sample bids, proposals, and agreements from both Luzerne County and the city of Hazleton that may be used to aid in the process. It is worth noting to this body that both of these governmental entities were more than willing to provide me with this information within the five business days required by law, even with their severe staff restrictions. <coughs> My second item is on the ongoing parking space lease deal. The information I have is that we are now in phase two of this deal. My question for council are, if the city does indeed receive their 20 million asking price, how is this money going to be allocated? I understand 8 million is supposed to come off the top for the debt, but there is a balance, there is the balance going, where is the balance going to go? Will it land in a parking authority's bank account or the general fund? Will this council exercise any sort of legislative control over it? The world wonders. Lastly, I would also like to inquire if any member of city council can tell me how long the practices of exchanging our real estate receivables for bank notes as the, has been going on. I recently received information indicating that we have done this in 2009 and 2010 through the finance authority. I would like to know if this body has not uh, knowledge or approved of this practice and if it will continue. One comment on the uh, fuel purchasing. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Uh, there are, there's another thing that is commonly done too, and it's cooperative purchasing of commodities as well, uh, where you do get a better price when you team up with somebody such as the county or another large scale user. And that's something that we can look into as well and going out and kind of fit together. So we'll follow up with that. But uh, uh, I know that the League of Cities as well supports commodity purchasing in bulk group purchasing for not only fuel, but other expendables that uh, municipalities use. And, and I think that's an alternative direction as compared to going through the bidding process alone, because we're not the only people, obviously, who use fuel. And the more you purchase, the price 